Today we're going to be talking about digital experiences and CRM, a Jamstack love story. My name is Zach Hatoff. Uh, I'm a product manager building digital experiences at Salesforce, but I used to be a developer at Salesforce working on those same products. Outside of, the work, outside of work, the stack I'm playing with the most actually has been uh, Vue, Nuxt, uh, Netlify, and Tailwind CSS. Uh, if you're interested, you can follow me on LinkedIn. That's where I am more than Twitter these days. And while normally I'm holed up in San Francisco, today I'm actually in LA visiting my mom, certainly embracing the work from anywhere lifestyle. I always start every presentation with a thank you. And I know you and I just met, but a big thank you to you for taking a, a, a lot of time out of your day to learn more about the Jamstack and also CRM. And a big thank you to the organizers for inviting me here and actually putting on this whole digital conference. It is a ton of work and we know there is a lot going on behind the scenes. So big thank you to Netlify and all the sponsors for doing this conference today. Uh, I could not be more excited to be here bringing the two worlds of CRM and Jamstack closer together. Here's a glimpse of what we'll be covering today. Uh, if you're watching me on YouTube at this point, you'll know exactly where to click in order to speed ahead. But if you're watching this live, then you'll be interested in learning what we're covering. So one, we'll be looking at the importance of building a powerful customer experience. Two, we'll look at the relationship between CRM and those digital experiences. And then thirdly, uh, I'll give you kind of an intro uh, on how companies like Salesforce are thinking about the future of digital experience platforms. So we're gonna start with a question that seems easy, but is not, and you'll learn soon why. So what is a CRM? Well, CRM is, and hold on to something when I go to this next slide, boom, CRM is, it stands for Customer Relationship Management, but it represents everything about building and enhancing customer journeys across sales, service, marketing, commerce, analytics, integrations, and so much more. I mean, just to give you an example, Salesforce actually now builds a contact tracing application. Whether it's for your actual customers, your partners, even your employees, we can think of everyone as a customer about to embrace a journey and we can use a CRM to build processes that better improve their lifestyle. Okay, so we're back to a, a non-threatening slide. I'm, trust me, I'm not gonna throw any big digital pictures on front of you there again, but uh, what does any of this have to do with Jamstack? Why, why am I here talking about CRM if this is a conference about web development and Jamstack and digital agencies? Where, do, where does CRM get involved? Well. This is a slide from uh, the last conference in May that Lori Voss presented. And I swear I didn't touch anything about this, this slide. I just took it as is. But that big red arrow that's pointing right there, that says that 35% of developers are either interested or are building in Jamstack today for the enterprise. And to be honest, this is not a huge surprise to me because when it comes down to that scale performance, security, and availability, nobody needs it more than the enterprise. When we actually look into the data from Salesforce Research, it becomes even more evident. Across all participants in this survey, 75% 75 expect the usage of new technologies, and when you actually drill in on B2B buyers, essentially those purchasing on behalf of a company, the demand is even higher than consumer behavior. Companies and consumers, but especially companies, are asking all of these various vendors, including Salesforce, to deliver not only new technology, but highly performant customer experiences. So that's where we at Salesforce are starting to look at you know, products and technologies like Jamstack and, and recognizing the value of them for our enterprise solutions. Another slide that captured my attention at the last conference was this slide. And it, it demonstrates some of the areas where Jamstack alone might fall a bit short. 
Those three items being a dynamic headless CMS, a powerful session identity platform, and this last one, which says hard-coded flow logic, but I really read this as CRM and business process. And one of the biggest reasons a tool like CRM is needed is because customers expect, if not demand, a connected experience everywhere they go, across any touch point they have with your company. What's most interesting is when you look at actually who expects or demands that connected experience, you don't end up finding that millennials are the ones asking for you know, the, the highly connected digital world. It's, it's actually the baby boomers. And I think the reason that we can look behind this is, you know, a lot over the history of, of the world, everything was a personal connection. Everything was about human connection, whether you were in person or on the phone. These were individual connections that we were making. And when we moved to a digital world, it became very static. We lost all that dynamicism of, of being able to have an understanding of our customer. And as we look to the future, we're trying to bring that back into our all digital world. So that's kind of where we're seeing the, the evolution of the digital landscape. It's moving not just into you know, these static websites, but into digital experiences, where the experience actually has some strong understanding and even personalization to the end user, to the consumer of that product. When you actually look and say, okay, how do companies think about how they're doing with customer experience? You quickly find that they say customer experience is a high priority, but when they actually define their customer experience, you only find that 42% have said that their customer strategy is even defined. Well, there's a big gap between that 87% and that 42%, and this is really where CRM can come into play to not only build in that, uh, that understanding of your customer, but actually allow your customer to interact on their own self-service approach with your digital experience. So this is where we come back to a big question of how do we build customer-centric engineering into our digital experiences? While a static website can be visually stunning and contain infinitely creative elements, we just displayed that our users, our customers, want more. They want those static websites to be transformed into digital experiences that understand that, them and their needs. But at the same time, this comes at a cost, right? Having incredibly dynamic experiences can put us at risk in terms of scale, performance, security, and availability. How do we make sure to balance the two of these between each other? And that's where I think the Jamstack and CRM do come into play. And this is really a powerful combination when you look at it between having that CRM centric mindset and incorporating powerful tools like the Jamstack that allows you to deliver performant enterprise sites without compromising on any of the user experience. And this allows you to bring together both your technology platform and your product goals into the same sphere so you can build those amazing static websites, but also deliver the dynamic customer experiences. And here's where I wanna take a quick pause and say, why now? What took so long for us to reach this connection? Well, I think for a long time, Jamstack has been perceived as a framework for smaller projects and marketing landing pages, but I'm here today to tell you it is, it is imperative that companies, both big and small, start recognizing the value for delivering enterprise-grade solutions. That together, these two platforms, CRM and Jamstack, the, I guess mindsets, I should even say, that bringing those two things together, not only from a technology standpoint, but even from a product and deliverable standpoint, there are immense gains that can be seen. So here at Salesforce, we are doing exactly that with our newly introduced Experience Cloud, which actually was just announced at uh, a different conference to Mexico just the other day. We are looking to see not only how we can focus on building those pixel perfect sites, but also how to deliver them quickly with both clicks and code. Having a static website can only take us so far. And our mission is to build powerful digital experiences that bring companies and customers closer together. Some of the awesome areas we get to work on are not only in the programmatic space, 
but or like you know with Jamstack and site generation. But we also get to work on drag and drop site builders to really bring citizen developers you know forward on the platform, omni-channel and headless CMS. So they're not just building sites, but you're building for all digital channels. Uh, Real-time user personalization, having the understanding that one-to-one -one connection with that user, with that persona on your site. And these, there are a bunch of other products that we are delivering to make sure that it's not just you know, a, a product, it's a successful digital product. So just to give you an example of what we use Experience Cloud for today, well, a good example is DoorDash, who, if you're like me, DoorDash has become a pretty integral part of your life. I mean, you you might be ordering food on DoorDash right now as we speak, so probably. But anyway, with DoorDash, uh, you know, everything is a digital mindset, right? Everything has moved digitally, and now DoorDash has kind of hit the forefront of, of being able to have access to all restaurants in your local area. And with that great power comes a lot of responsibility. And to be able to manage all of the different users and all of their various situations they might be in, DoorDash came to Salesforce to build out a very powerful help center. And with this help center, they're able to, to push knowledge to their users, but also for those unique cases where a customer might not be able to get that, that connection that they need based on the data they, they're given, they're able to actually form uh, a case through our Salesforce service console so that a, a real human being can go in, interact, and send out to that DoorDash customer across any digital touch point the answers that they might need. So DoorDash is a great example of a customer that has used not just uh, digital experience, but a CRM to actually bring together that customer and that experience even closer. And Salesforce is working on building a tool set to enable developers, designers, and admins to deliver these digital experiences, essentially building our own jam stack on Salesforce. We have an accessible design system to build, quick, you know, to build components quickly. Uh, we use Lightning Web Components, which is actually our own uh, web component framework using the latest standards. Uh, we have Salesforce Functions. So Heroku is part of our digital portfolio, and Heroku's serverless platform allows us to build scalable CRM workflows. And lastly, we have a new product with Lightning Web Runtime, which will, my teams at Salesforce are helping to tr contribute to that will allow us to build in that static site generation so that we can deliver the performance that every CRM digital experience might need. We're trying to empower all business users with the latest web standards and bringing the enterprise forward. This tool set, when put into action, allows us to cleanly separate the client-side experience of various components on the page, but also allow them to securely interact with one another. Remember, we are working with mission-critical digital experiences now. Everything needs to be wrapped up tightly to ensure we are protecting not just our customers, but Salesforce and the many vendors that might be participating in that customer's digital journey. But on the back end, we are making continuous calls into the CRM to access and write important data about our users to ensure we are delivering the best experience on the page or any other future touch point that they might interact with. Oops. We, have, we, like a lot of enterprises, have the unique problem of ecosystem. So this is one of my friends and coworkers, Diego Val, elaborating at a web components conference on the business requirements of our new LWC component framework. I think it really aptly ties back into why Jamstack also plays a huge part with maintainability. When there are multiple versions and backwards compatibility is required, out of your framework, ensuring that all the components on the page, whether they're Salesforce's, our customer, or even the vendors, can continue interacting with one another becomes a very interesting problem to solve. This is where Jamstack provides a ton of value in terms of static site generation to bring all of this together. So when there are multiple stakeholders on that single page, how do you ensure the experience being delivered is exactly what you expect? Especially as these components, the Salesforce components, the customer components, and partner components are all interacting with each other, as well as evolving over time, how do we make sure we can continue maintaining them while also increasing their value? So coming back to static site generation, this is where we can now deliver not just performant experiences, but also ones that are incredibly maintainable we're able to define cacheability for a global delivery, for a global market. 
we can build maintainability directly into the technology so that every time we generate, things are frozen in time. We can improve the performance of these components because we've generated them, because we've pushed them out to CDN. Uh, we've moved to an API-first paradigm so that everything on the data layer and the component layer are actually separate. And finally, the key one here that I think we've been really stressing is all that live CRM and CMS data to deliver those dynamic customer experiences can still come from the CRM, but now it's maintained in a separate state. So just a little bit more on how we do this. Uh, we use that tool, Lightning Web Runtime, and that plug and play tool belt of the Salesforce UI platform to create these experiences of web components on the client. By doing the generation, when we actually publish the site, our product takes all of these components from Salesforce vendors and the customer and locks them in place for a performant, consistent, and durable experience that does not compromise on CRM. So as we finish up this talk, I wanna highlight the journey we at Salesforce are on and probably many of you as well, as we look to build out the next great technology of web development. We're focused on security and performance, but also all the flexibility that we were able to get with, few, with the, the frameworks of, of past. So when we look to the future, that's where Jamstack and CRM really come into play because you're not only able to build and deliver highly performant experiences, but able to still get that flexibility to connect with CRM data and focus on that customer experience. So once again, to cover what we just learned today, we learned that it's really important to build a powerful customer experience. Your customers expect this of you. They demand it of you. So look forward to trying to learn more about your customer and building more of their workflow into your site. We learned about the relationship between CRM, customer relationship management, and digital experiences and how to connect the two. And we also give you a sneak peek into how companies like Salesforce are looking at building digital experience platforms to ensure that as we look to the future, we're not just building that performance, but also that fully connected experience. I know that was a ton of content, but if you're always interested in learning more, you should go check out some of these follow, some of the following links. If you want to learn about CRM, Salesforce, or any of our, uh, of our products, go check out Trailhead. It's a free self-service training tool to learn anything there is to know about CRM and how it might work. Uh, we recently announced the Experience Cloud. We have a blog post right here. Go check this out and learn more about what we are doing here at Salesforce. And then finally, a lot of the data I used for this presentation comes from a ton of researchers that we have, we have but this data is all public. So Go check it out. If any of those infographics are cool, go learn more about how customers are thinking and how you can build stronger experiences for your site. So thank you for having me and uh, hopefully you're enjoying this conference. I sure am uh, and I'll be here answering any of your questions. Thank you.